Hello, this is Arun and uh, welcome in my channel of uh, Lightroom and Photoshop. Uh, today I will teach you in the uh, left panel you, uh, you have the option like uh, snapshot and history. These are very important options in the Lightroom and uh, how uh, these options can be used with Lightroom. So I will tell you about these uh, options in the today's tutorial. So friends, uh, I am in the uh, develop module. Uh, in the develop module, you have the, these options in the uh, left panel uh, like snapshot and history. Uh, if you uh, explore these options, there is uh, nothing in these options. Uh, so how these options can be used? Suppose this is your original image that uh, you have imported from your DSLR camera. Uh, now if you want to some uh, correction in your photo then it will comment automatically come into history panel suppose uh, I want to increase I want to uh, enhance the exposure of this photo suppose uh, up to like uh, one and uh, I want more contrast uh, if you choose any of these option then it will automatically come into the history panel suppose uh, now i want to increase the white points then it will uh, come into this section history mm, suppose i am increasing this option uh, now white clipping is available suppose uh, then clarity then uh, I have uh, changed exposure, contrast, white and clarity and all options are uh, available uh, in the history panel. Uh, suppose I want some sharpness, then sharpening, uh, uh, to sharpening will be available in the history panel. So how can I use th these options? Uh, so there is one more option that is snapshot i have changed the exposure contrast white clipping clarity and sharpening if i press the plus button the snapshot name you can give this snapshot name uh, i will give version one So I have uh, give the name of snap first snap now to version one uh, with all these settings like exposure contrast white clipping clarity sharpening all these are uh, having a one snapshot that is called V1. Then now now I will tell you how to use snapshot. So further I want uh, suppose if you want uh, this image black and white I simply decrease the saturation of this uh, photo. Uh, then the saturation uh, is available in the history panel now I will put this uh, snapshot I will give this snapshot the name v2 version 2 suppose mm, if you close uh, this uh, Lightroom now and then in the coming time in the future uh, you want same photo suppose you want color photo with the, all these settings you simply click on the v1 button and all settings these are having all values will available for this image so my friends these two tools are very very important if you are using Lightroom and uh, moreover uh, you have uh, changes further into your image like uh, I want to set the now uh, temperature of this image uh, suppose like uh, auto and uh, enhances uh, white yellow point and this tint so uh, I want uh, luminance high so all these are options are available suppose uh, in the history panel uh, your starting point uh, is the exposure then you have uh, set the contrast of this image then white uh, all these uh, are uh, uh, numbering wise options are available numbering wise suppose uh, I want to come into my first point uh, in then if you click on the exposure then 
you will come to this point uh, at the first stage when you have started editing your image uh, suppose this is my second step then you will available having the two steps that is exposure and contrast similarly uh, like clarity you have uh, now three settings that is exposure contrast white clipping and the three options is available and having the clarity also so in this way you can use the history panel uh, rather than to uh, reset all values so friends this is a very very helpful tool uh, for you if you are using um, if you are uh, using lightroom for uh, so many images so i hope you have liked this video and uh, further i will give you so many tutorials advanced tutorials also so thank you friends keep watching alan's creation